Welcome back to the channel. My name is Mariel, and today I am starting the episode upstairs, sitting on my couch. I was just reading my to-do list, and on my to-do list, it says that today we are going to be building a tower slash platform up to the cloud level so that we can get ourselves a Pegasus. That sounds so, so exciting, and so I'm definitely going to be putting my to-do list away for now in my inventory i have quite a few things i have uh, trevor over here who is going to be our bat horse and then our pegasus and i also have queenie and marty as well as some pumpkins because i'm going to be breeding them to get more sources because what oh, hello george even though I do definitely want the fairy horse, and that is my main goal, uh, main, haha, <laughs> like, like, horses have manes, um, but that, since, even though that is my main goal, I still want to have the other types of horses, like, I want to end up having a bat horse, and I want to end up having, like, a regular fire horse, and maybe we'll even end up having... A regular Pegasus and a regular unicorn but um, once we have both of those if we breed them with the essence of light they will go away and we will have the fairy horse instead in this backpack before we get too into today's episode I have a bunch of food because I wanted you guys to be here when I feed my things look they're at the end of their food so we're just gonna move that up and we'll put more we'll put more items in here. All right. Now both of my chests are filled and it looks like the rain has stopped, which is super exciting. I love it whenever it's nice and sunny. Speaking of the sun, did any of you guys watch the eclipse that happened? It happened earlier today and it was so cool. We did not um I do not live in the belt of totality i guess is what it's called so we didn't get a total eclipse but we d still did see it and i think that was super cool here we're gonna go ahead and feed them i need to go back into my house actually and get the elevators that razak was using in the tree because i also want to use them and we're gonna use these to get up there and I do not have the clouds turned on because there are different clouds that spawn in the world. And I'm honestly not even sure what mod spawns in these clouds, but I like the way they look. Oh, they were done before I was able to finish putting the elevators down. Um, we just did T, Q, R, S, T, U. We're on U. What about... I guess it, it just it, it's fine okay now we are at the top of the tree and it's nighttime so monsters might be up here we should definitely be careful I knew that these trees were taller than the clouds but I just turned on the clouds to see where the clouds are and we're a great deal above the clouds <laughs> um Dang. I mean, that's cool. It just does not help us. We're still a little bit above the clouds, but I feel like that's okay. Because I could, like, build the little platform down a little bit. I kind of want it to be just hidden up here. I don't need to make it super, super visible. Just a little platform for the horse, for Trevor, who's going to become our Pegasus. <laughs> We're going to have a Pegasus named Trevor. That's so funny. Okay, so right here is like cloud level, right at level, cloud level. Oh, I wish we had another Essence of Darkness because then, then we could take the other horse that's down there and go ahead and make our... Um, like bat horse because we're gonna turn Trevor into the Pegasus and then we'll have Ura be the bat horse but that's okay 
I think I have flame essence, so Ura could be our flame horse. I really wasn't thinking about the, like, the type of horse that Ura would be. I was just like, oh, Ura is a name. Oh, man, guys. Oh, oh, man, guys. Ah! Trevor, you've been up here five seconds. Please don't jump off and fall to your death because I will cry. Heck yeah, Trevor. Trevor has wings. I don't have a saddle. Oh, Trevor. Okay, I can pick Trevor up in this. I'm gonna go grab a saddle. <sighs> oh, I do have another essence of fire, but I'm, I need more of the dark essence because I don't have enough of the essence of light. Hello, Ura. I'm not sure if I like your name. Okay. Trevor. Look at me. I'm flying. Look at me. Let's see if I can get back in here. There we go. Are you ready for this, Trevor? No, Trevor, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. Stay over here, please. Oh. Ah! Trevor! Trevor, you're beautiful! <laughs> Come here, dude. Now I need to now I need to take Pegasus Trevor out. This is so cool. Guys, I've never done this before. Ah! I love it! We're flying through the cloud. Oh, I can see my I can see everything! Let's go see the Oh! Trevor, come down, please. Dude, that feather falling? <laughs> I'm a little bit of a goof. That was, that would have been bad. I've not died in a long time. Look at my village. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Do you guys see that? I think that that is, is her name Kimberly? Kimberly, that's not Kimberly. Kimberly is not her name. What's your name? Valerie, her name is Valerie. She's got a baby. Hi, Valerie. Let me, let me say hi to you. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's uninterested. Man, Trevor, you're beautiful. So in the village, I've done a yale bit of work. Um, I tore down the house that was here, and that's about it. <laughs> um, I also, I also gave, what's her name? The baker over here. It's his wife. Yeah, our villa. I've gave our villa her own little farm, so it's like she she grinds her own wheat into making wheat flour, and I think that that is just such a cute little thing. Come on, Trevor, let's go to your new home. Let's see if I can fly into the window of the barn. I've not actually had to do that yet because I haven't had any flying horses. Hey, Jella. <laughs> Hey, Sola. Man, Trevor, you fit right in. <gasps> oh, I wonder if there's a different amulet. There is a different amulet. I think. I know this one is obviously for the fairy horse, but this one, I believe, is for the... is for the Pegasus. Oh, no. I don't have that amulet. And I don't think I have any fire to make it. Maybe I do. We need to go into the nether anyways. I was thinking about... Okay, guys. You're all being super noisy. Even the cows and the pigs. But we need to go into the nether because I want to get more fire hearts. 
Okay. My inventory is all cleaned up. I should have some fire resistance potions in here. I do. We'll go ahead and pull these out before we get in there because you never know. Man, look at how much mana I have. Ooh, I did not realize the mana pools were that full. Let's fill the Terra Shatterer. We are about halfway to level S, which takes so much mana. And we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and grab the dominant sparks. Oh man, that actually moved us a little bit. I was not expecting to be able to see the the little difference. That's super awesome. Let's put that away. Now we are ready to go into the nether and fight some fire things. Let's go! Hello, little dudes. One of you came into my nether portal, and I don't know if he's still hanging out or not, but he was in there. <gasps> Fire scorpions. Can I get down there? I probably won't take any fall damage. I took a little bit of fall damage. It's fine. I definitely will end up getting too gutsy with this fall damage stuff. Hey guys. You guys are just red scorpions. You guys are not actually fire things. There's another fire bat. Oh. oh, I hit him! That was not intentional. Oi! The freaking phantom thing. I didn't... Hey now, I was trying to kill you because of this. Now you're gonna make me hit the pigmen. Oh, there's some up there. And is that an ogre? It is, ooh, how do I get up there? Oh, I'm really definitely gonna probably hit the pigmen. I need to hit them with my sword because my sword has sword has the looting on it. Hey guys! I could just let them hit me. And then that'll kill them. I definitely could have used my sword, but I'm scared of hitting the pigmen because I don't want them to hit me. I've already got four hearts of fire. And there's another- ooh! Let's go, let's go! Hi dude! I've come to take your heart. Come here. Come here, come here, come here. Don't be shy. <gasps> oh, there's fire! Nice! And I got five pieces of it, so I have enough to make one of those things. Yay! I don't really need the blaze rods, but let's come kill them anyways. Oh, you're a sickly blaze. Get over here. I don't want your whatever you drop to. Oh, there's there's rats down there. You guys could drop fire. Ah! Hi guys. They did not give me another heart of fire. Let's go ahead and teleport home, because I'm too lazy to walk over all of that soul sand again. <gasps> kitty, hi! Hi, kitty! I want a kitty. <gasps> Maybe that's that's what I'll do. I'll get that's how I'll finish the episode is getting a kitty. Let's go ahead and farm these little dudes. Let me empty the, my messy inventory, and I could also make another fire essence, and then we will be able to have our fire horse. I really need to fight skeletons so I can make more of the miniature red hearts. I discovered 
that the yellow canisters do not do any more health, which as you can tell, I do not have any more health than I did before I had the yellow heart canisters, but they can be stacked up to 10, I think. And so since I could have 10 red heart canisters and 10 yellow heart canisters, that'll be 20 extra health. And that would be awesome. Right? I think that that's 20. 20 extra hearts. Yeah. Which would be 40 extra health. Holy cow. That's a lot of health. We'll go ahead and make one of the fire essences. So we can get our fire horse back. I do think that Sola or something solar related would be a really good name for the fire horse. So I'll have to think about it. Oh, it's nighttime. I'm going to go look for bat horses. There's an ogre over here. I don't think he drops any of the hearts. No, he just drops obsidian. <gasps> oh no! Trevor! Trevor, what are you doing? Hello, Magical Pugsley. We need to go save Trevor. I did not think of the fact that Trevor could escape. No, Trevor. Trevor, you need to stay in the barn. I could fly around on Trevor and look for horses, the dark horses. Although the sun is rising now, so... I did not find any of the bat horses, which sucks, but is okay. I could just go looking around for them off camera. Before I end the episode, I want to get a cat! I want to get a kitty cat! I completely forgot about the essence of fire. Erm... Um, Okay, before I get a cat, because I don't want to get distracted again, we'll see if we can feed Ura and rename her. And we can. I wanted to name her Cinder, because she's going to become the fire horse. And I think that that would be super cute. And I'm right, it is cute. We're going to come and put Cinder upstairs. See, I wonder if the reason that Trevor was able to get out is because they like to jump on these fences. So, like, maybe he was, like, jumping, and then he was flying, and then he was out the window. So, we will maybe change these to regular fences because that will keep them inside. But look, we've got Cinder up here. Look at her go. We got Sola, Cinder, and Jella, and Trevor. And now we just need to get another, um... Fire, or light essence so that we can feed them and get our fairy horse. I'm so excited. Now we can go get a cat. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure it takes cooked fish. So we're going to cook like five fish. Just pop them in there. And then we're going to grab some gold and leather. That's not how you make a medallion. How do you make a medallion? That is how you make a medallion. Oh. I, um, no, that is not how you make a d medallion. I'm so silly sometimes. I don't do it on purpose. <laughs> there we go. Now, is there one fish that's done? Yes. Let's go get a kitty. The gray one is still over here. I see, I see her. See her over there. But I want a different color. There was a, <gasps> I forgot. There was a hole with like a bunch, a bunch of little kitties stuck in it. Where's it at? I'm going to save you. Are they here? There's a little orange kitty. <gasps> and, a, and, a, and a black kitty. 
Oh. I want to name you Charles. Charles, come hither. Let's pick up Charles and the pet amulet. There we go. I could do that. I forgot that I could do that. Charles is such a nice name for such a distinguished kitty cat. He's got a little tuxedo on. I'm doing good, Connor. I got a cat. So let's put Charles down. I'm obsessed with Charles. Um, I don't know how to make a kitty bed. And iron ingot. Let's see if we can make this with white wool. We can! Oh, Charles! And before we put that down, let's go ahead and make some food for Charles. There we go. Um, I also need to make a litter box. Oh no! I forgot about the litter box! Yay! Okay, okay, okay. Where are we gonna put this? Um, we'll place the litter box. Like here. There we go. It looks like the texture is kind of, um, messed up, but that's okay. Here we go. Now there's food in your thing. Charles! I don't know if Charles wants to eat, but Charles has food. Okay, guys. Um, where are we gonna end? I think we should end with all of the horses because I feel like that would be so cute. Hello, Trevor. I'm proud of you for staying inside. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay, okay. Oh, man. Oh, man. We'll stand, we'll stand next to Trevor. Hopefully he doesn't walk away from us. <gasps> oh, they're both right here. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I'm so excited to finally be getting closer to our fairy horse. We are almost there. I just need to find more of the bat horses and uh, kill them so that I can have their hearts. You know, just little things. And then I'll also need to find more just so that I can have both the Pegasus and I can have the unicorn because I want them all. Except maybe the undead horse because I don't think that those are as cute. Um, but all of the other horses are cute. Anyhow, if you did enjoy today's episode, go ahead and leave a like on the video. Subscribe if you want to see more of my content. And comment down below what you think of the episode. Do you like the Pegasus or the Unicorn more? Let me know. My name is Mariel. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you all later. Bye.